President Trump is set to address farmers and ranchers across the country today at the 100th annual American Farm Bureau Federation Convention. The visit coming as farmers take a direct hit from the record-setting government shutdown and the trade dispute with China, Mexico, and Canada. Joining us now to talk more about that is U.S. Agriculture Secretary from a governor of Georgia, Sonny Perdue. Sir, good to have you on the program. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Can you give us a sense of what the shutdown has done for farmers? I know that you have plans to uh, help uh, with this sh as it continues and if it goes any longer in terms of food stamps, et cetera. We'll get to that. But what has been the impact so far? Well, the impact for farmers typically has been the farm service agencies have run out of funding and they're closed. We're working with OMB to see if we can get some relief in that area so we can, farmers have uh, sometimes dual issued checks. They need to get co-endorsed out there to retrieve their uh, lo marketing loans for peanuts and cotton and to uh, do their normal course of business. So we're hoping to work on some strategies very soon to get these offices uh, open back soon. Tell me, tell me what kind of strategies that might be. We're, we're looking at now these 800,000 government employees not having been paid, uh, right. missing the first paycheck. What do you have in plans uh, in terms of helping people who are getting hit by this shutdown? Well, we're trying to get our people back into staffing positions on a temporary basis in order to do the emergency type things that have farmers limited right now. Uh, obviously, uh, our, our folks are, uh, are ready to serve farmers. They're anxious to get back and to help them. We're having calls in, from farmers uh, about different needs, and we hope to resolve that uh, very soon on a temporary basis. But the shutdown needs to end. That's the real, that's the real answer. You know, it's incredible to me that just last month the president signed an $867 billion farm bill legislation to provide aid for farmers hurt by the national, natural disasters, the ongoing trade dispute, with China, and, you, and they can't find $5 billion uh, for the border wall. Have farmers seen the impact, and, and what kind of an impact are you expecting from this farm bill over the next 10 years? Well, again, the farm bill, I think most farmers are very pleased with it. They are pleased that it was passed. They're pleased that the president signed it. It will be good. It's a good, uh, it's a good farm safety net bill. Most of that money, as you well know, went to our supplemental nutrition program uh, uh, that way. So uh, farmers are anxious to get the, on with their plans, to apply for the programs that uh, going forward, and we hope to have that uh, uh, where they can do that very soon. How much of that farm bill would you say was uh, welfare, as a lot of the uh, critics call it? Well, probably uh, a large percentage of the uh, $70 billion of the uh, $140 billion uh, overall is going to our supplemental nutrition program as well as other nutrition programs. Okay. The government shutdown is also curtailing the Food and Drug Administration's routine safety inspections. I want to ask you about this because farmers and ranchers work directly with the FDA too. You know, there is concern out there that we're going to perhaps see some kind of a breakout, E. coli. I mean, the, the, the food uh, safety is, is under review. What's your take on this? Well, the good thing about it from USDA is responsible for all of our protein processors, that's poultry, beef, pork, and others, and they're on the job. We're not, uh, we're not uh, shortcutting any type of food safety issues there at USDA in our meat processing. FDA does more of a uh, audit type of process where they may visit more routinely uh, over a period of time. So I think that from the food safety perspective, these are consider considered essential people, and they're on the job working each and every day. You, let's talk technology for, for a moment, Secretary. What kind of technology okay. has changed uh, uh, the, the, uh, the backdrop for farmers? And can you talk to us about some of the innovations that you're seeing that have really moved the needle in terms of growth? Technology is alive and well in agriculture. It's amazing the precision technology that's on the shelf waiting for a really uh, ubiquitous broadband deployment is really what's needed. That's why we're making a huge effort on rural broadband across the country because there are already tools, whether it's sensor for more efficient uh, uh, water usage, for more efficient uh, input usage such as uh, fertilizer, uh, different types of optics spraying just the noxious weeds there rather than the whole field. There are a lot of very creative, innovative. Farmers are earlier adopters and uh, they're waiting for this technology to be deployed. We need uh, really good uh, geospatial uh, rural broadband all across the country. You'll be traveling with the president today. Tell us what, what you're expecting. 
Well, again, the president's coming to New Orleans to visit with the American Farm Bureau Federation on their 100th anniversary. He was with them in Nashville last year and committed to come back, and we, uh, uh, they loved having him last year. They're very excited about him being here this year. And as you well know, farmers have been very supportive of the president's policy on trade, even with China, even though there's temporary pain for them. Uh, they've been extremely supportive of the president. Yeah, but how much longer can they endure that pain, Secretary? At some point, something's got to give, right? Do you see any end in sight in terms of this tariff situation? Well, I do. I think we're making progress. There were good talks uh, at the beginning of the year with China. It was a good listening session. I think uh, each side laid their issues on the table. We think we'll see some progress in trade in the near future. And I think uh, President Trump has played it just right regarding uh, calling them out for the abuses that they've had in the marketplace over a number of years. Yeah, there certainly has been a lot of that. Sonny, it's good to see you. Thanks so much, Secretary. Yeah. Thank you, Maria. Secretary Sonny Perdue joining us there.